Amin, amin, amin. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadan abdika wa habibika wa rasulika an nabi al-umi wa ala alihi wa sabbihi wa sallam. O oh Allah, please shower your peace and blessings upon our master Muhammad, your servant, your slave, your beloved, your messenger, the unlettered prophet, and send blessings upon his noble family and companions. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, mashallah, mashallah. And blessings and peace upon our beloveds and uh, our, the friends of Allah and, and upon uh, the heart of Sheikh Musafir Ashki Aziz al Tarahi, upon his family, upon the heart of Sheikh Noor. Al Anwar Amanik Al Tarahi and his community and family, and upon the hearts of Hazreti Pir Muhammad Nuruddin Jarahi, his mother Amina Taslima Al Jarahi, and his community and and all, all family. By that time, his families are certainly all the worlds, all the peers uh, extend widely over this human family. Amin, Amin, Amin. And blessings upon all of us, upon all the, the, the members of this beautiful family and uh, those in the past and those to come. And blessings on this day, on this moment, on this Juma gathering. Amin, amin, amin. Alhamdulillah, Rabbin Animin. I'd like to begin with reading a hadith from the hundred and one diamonds. The womb of the mothers. Muhammad the messenger, may Allah bestow blessing and peace upon him once reported. Allah Most High created the world. And when he had completed it, the womb of the mothers rose up and proclaimed, I am the spiritual station of whoever seeks refuge in you from separation and division. Allah responded, yes, you are this exalted station. I will unify myself with those who are unified with you, and I will veil myself from those who reject you. Are you content with my decision? Yes, I am fully content, mystic motherhood replied. The Messenger of Allah, may divine peace be upon him, then commented, Recite with sincerity these blessed words from the Holy Book if you wish to avoid separation and division. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Would anyone invested with genuine authority cause disorder on earth or sever the sacred ties of kinship? Those who act this way are chastened by Allah with spiritual deafness and blindness. Why do these persons fail to meditate on the, on the holy teachings? Are there locks on their hearts? This hadith, collected by the sage Muslim, comes from the transmission of the intimate companion Abu Huraira. May Allah be pleased with him. Today... Um, we are seeing the Quran uh, recited before our very eyes. And we come freshly from, from the Ramadan, freshly from studying the Quran daily, from imbibing it, and, um, and inshallah, being guided, our, our vision being uh, re truly focused by the teachings in Quran. And what, so we emerge from the Ramadan, from this womb of the Ramadan and, and the, the womb of the Quran into the, uh, the creation. Again, in a sense, we re-enter it and we see that what is happening is pure Quran. Everything that happens is in the Quran. And, uh, and the big events are also in Quran. And we are better able now to interpret what is happening uh, because it was so clearly stated in the Quran and we were given example after example uh, in the Quran. One comes uh, especially dearly to my heart and that is 
the story of the she camel uh, of Sali and the Thamud. And it is said that Sali was sent to the Thamud to call them to Allah, as all the messengers and mothers are sent, truly. And um, some accepted and some rejected, some refused. And um, they were apparently in the habit of, um, as most of the arrogant ones are, of denying the rights of, of others, denying the rights of the poor, uh, not letting them uh, water their flocks sufficiently and not letting them have sufficient lands for grazing. And it is interesting that uh, one of the teachings of Rasulullah, peace be upon him, is that the grazing land and fire are two things that, and water, of course, must be shared. This is, in, in a sense, a divine, that's in Allah's haram, these uh, belong in a special way to Allah and uh, or under Allah's guardianship. So I'll read you from one of the passages on, on the Quran. This is the name of Shaitan Ajim, Bismillah Rahman Irahim. To the Thamud, to the people of Thamud, came Sali, or we sent Sali one of their own brethren. He said, O oh my people, worship Allah, love Allah, turn to Allah. You have no other God but him. And there has come to you a clear sign from your Lord. The she-camel of Allah is a sign to you. So leave her to graze in Allah's earth and let her come to no harm or you will be seized with a grievous punishment. So it is said that they, they asked Sali for a, a miracle, some kind of sign that he was truly a prophet and that he came from God. And so the, the sign that came was the pregnant she camel full of milk. And um, so she was allowed to live uh, for some time and while she lived, um, she would graze and she'd drink water. And one of the oral accounts is, is that she, um, the, when she drank, she drank so much water that she drank all, all the water for that day or that moment from, from all the other. But she gave so much milk. So it, her milk was like a never ending supply and it would, feed everyone. And of course, we can imagine particularly the poor would uh, drink from her milk. And at some point, the arrogant ones uh, could no longer tolerate this uh, abundant generosity that did not belong to them and that seemed to infringe on their own possess possessiveness. So they, um, they sliced her tendons basically killing her. The leaders of the arrogant party among the people said to those who were reckoned powerless, those among them who were the faithful, do you know indeed that Salih is an apostle from his Lord? And they said, we do indeed have faith in the revelation which has been sent to him. But the arrogant one said, for our part, we reject what you believe in. And then they hamstrung the she-camel and insolently defied the order of their Lord, saying, O Sali, bring about thy threats if you are truly an apostle of Allah. So the earthquake took them unawares and they lay prostrate in their homes in the morning. Why is the, the she camel such a, a sign? Because um, first of all, she's a mother. She represents uh, both nature and the, the feminine generosity, the Rahman the the givingness 
um, which asks only little in return. I mean, she did drink, but then she transformed her drink, as this is Ali commented on this, this morning from water to milk, you might say from life, natural life to divine knowledge, which is the milk. And this is truly the, the nature of prophets that where they transform for us, they, they allow us to see that this life is truly divine life. So this is the knowledge in, in this way, by transforming our vision and our heart, uh, we receive this divine knowledge and this divine vision. Um, she is a beautiful one. She is uh, a gentle one. Uh, she gives to all. And this is what they attack. This is part of the thing that is intolerable. It's the very beauty, the tenderness, the vulnerability, the generosity. Um, and so I, um, you know, I, I see the Palestinians. This was coming to me very strongly to see the, the Palestinians as these she camel that were given um, to the people to, um, to honor, to care for their neighbors, their brothers, their sisters, their children, in a way. Um, and yet they were uh, dishonored and, as we know, uh, brought to the, driven to the condition they are uh, today. So um, the students, this is another example of the she camel. Here are the students. Here they are, our youth, our young ones. Uh, we want to treasure them. Uh, we want to help guide them. We want to protect them, uh, support them in, in ways that we can as a society. And what happens? They are also hamstrung. Uh, they are uh, driven away from their uh, place of of of, of right rightful. Uh, free speech, rightful protest against injustice. Um, so everything belongs to Allah, as we know, but there are certain things that, you know, we do not transgress. And, and um, of course, for a dervish, we, there's nothing really that we should transgress, but in, in, in a sense, in, in the balance, um, certain things even more, you might say, surrounded by this, uh, precinct in this precinct of, of what belongs to Allah. And um, the, the, the freedom flotilla is another she camel, you know, going to bring, obviously bringing people from all nations. It's like a Noah's Ark uh, to bring the, the food uh, for those who are starving, for the children, the mothers, the fathers, the brothers and sisters. And uh, once again, we see this attack on what is uh, innocence. So uh, protecting the innocence, this is a very powerful Quranic uh, teaching. And um, what is vulnerable, the orphans so represent that. And so how many people are orphaned now? How many orphans are there? How many motherless uh, children are there? Fatherless children. And then the children themselves are put away killed so you know this is this is so immense um and yet we don't want to judge we we, we cannot condemn because that's not our place as as um, servants we don't condemn we simply want to thereby uh, expand the good and, and spread goodness, and, and by spreading goodness, extinguish darkness. Um, we want to uh, pray more. But there are consequences, of course, for all that is happening. We know that. And so we pray for good consequences. I even it occurred to me that even as they lay prostrate in their homes in the morning, as it speaks of the Thamud, that on 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 certain level, it could be that they um, they're prostrating, <laughs> they're they're finally uh, prostrating through the 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 final sign of Allah that came to them in the earthquake or in the natural disaster, 
but then comes the the prostration and the turning to all. So may that may that be may that be uh, the guidance. Amin, amin, amin. Alhamdulillah, amin, amin. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. So how do we respond? Fendi tells the story. It was a young student of, um, a religious student in the university, uh, Al-Azhar or whatever was the great university at the time. And he had just completed his studies uh, for many, many years. And uh, he had, um, was gathering his things and he had gone to greet and say, give his, his goodbye and salams to his cherished uh, professor, the one who was closest to him. And the teacher said, I want to ask you uh, one question before you go. He said, if you uh, come across on your journey home, which is far and hazardous, when you come across a, um, a pack, you will be crossing through many uh, lands and where there are sheep and sheep herders. And uh, when you, if you come across uh, the dogs of the sheep and they start to attack you, uh, what will you do? And the young man said, well, you know, I, I'll take my gun. He had a gun in those days uh, and I'll, I'll shoot the dogs. And then the teacher uh, gazed into his eyes and said, really? He said, if you kill the dogs, the master will be very upset with you. He said, what you do, you call on the master. You call out to the master. So this is what we do. This is what as dervishes were, um, were schooled to do. You know, to call on Allah, call on Allah, pray to Allah. And we have been praying, you know. And some of us might feel, oh, well, you know, we've been praying and praying, and look, there's even more slaughter. And um, But we pray knowing that Allah knows best how to, um, how to bring about uh, the, the desire uh, of our prayer, the desire for the well-being of, of people. And um, and we've also been praying for perpetrators. We've been praying for everyone that peace comes. So um, what we've been witnessing also in the Palestinians is an enormous level of faith. And so maybe our prayers have gone to that, have have uh, supported them in in their in their faith, and uh, and also to open the hearts. Maybe our prayers have gone to open the hearts of others in the world to um, to take a stand and to uh, leaders to, it looks like now there's been a, a, a real turn and if we know that it can happen collectively, first one, then another, and it seems to reverberate and multiply. So this is, you know, very, this is heartening. This is affirming uh, of the the place of prayer. It's Abu Huraira who transmitted the hadith, the, the weapon of the believer is prayer. Prayer is the weapon of the believer. So uh, let's use it even more. And, um, you know, I've thought of uh, having prayer uh, prayer events, uh, maybe alongside demonstrations that uh, in our circles, we would uh, have a few dervishes and go and where there is a demonstration uh, that we would simply sit there and, and prayer, may we do the weird, whether we do Laila, Ilala, whatever we do, um, that it support the, the, the truth and um, protect the truth. And although the truth needs no protection really, but support, let's say the people of truth and, um, and, and offer protection. So that um, is what I see. I would love for also 
uh, religious leaders, and they have uh, gotten together, but more of that, more of that. And uh, alhamdulillah, inshallah, we can come to um, a new time. I'd like to read you um, confirming that of prayer, the way of prayer, and uh, a, a hadith narrated Muad ibn Jabal. The inhabitants of paradise do not regret anything except the moments during which they did not invoke Allah. So we are here in the realm where we are free to invoke Allah at all times because we, we can invoke Allah silently or we can invoke Allah outwardly. And Allah is with us when we invoke Allah, we know that, we've been told that. Um, and I'm going to read that for you. I am with the believers. Muhammad the Messenger, may divine blessing and grace be upon him, reported these words directly from Allah Most High. I am with the believers in whatever way they remember me and repeat my names. If they remember me silently within their heart, I remember them within my heart. If they remember me in gatherings, I remember them in a far more exalted gathering. If they come close to me by as much as the width of a hand, I come close to them by an arm's length. If they come close to me by an arm's length, I come close to them by two arms length. If they come toward me at the speed of walking, I approach them at the speed of running. This hadith is transmitted by the intimate and noble companion, Abu Huraira. May Allah be pleased with him. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. So this confirms, this is our way. You know, it's it's to be present, to, to help, of course, in whatever way we can. Um, but that prayer is truly the core of any um, any action that we undertake. Whatever action we undertake, we can undertake it inwardly with prayer or outwardly with prayer. And I'd like to conclude with the prayer of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, on the first of Muharram. O oh Allah, you are eternal reality creator of time, and this is a new year. I beg of you safety in it from the one who embodies all negativity. I beg of you mastery of my limited self, which inclines to negativity. I beg of you engagement in everything which draws me near to you. O generous and merciful one, O Lord of majesty and embracing generosity, Yadul Jalal Walikram, O supporter of the one who has no support, O provider of the one who has no provision, O shelter of the one who has no shelter, O helper of the one who has no helper, O reliance of the one who has no one to lean on, O treasure of the one who has no treasure, O oh, you who makes tests and trials a way of mercy. O oh, ultimate hope, O oh, strength of the weak, O oh, rescuer of the drowning, O oh, savior from destruction, O oh, benefactor, O oh, munificent, O oh, all bestower, all benevolent. Before you prostrates the blackness of the night and the brightness of the day, the radiance of the moon and the glory of the sun the ripple of the water and the rustling of the trees. You have no equal and no partner. O oh, beloved Allah, please make us better than what is thought of us. Forgive us for that which remains hidden about us and do not blame us for what is said regarding us. Sufficient for me is Allah and there is no reality apart from Allah. On Allah alone do I rely, Lord of the magnificent throne. In this do we believe that all comes from our Lord 
and none are aware of this except the people of insight. O Lord and lover of ours, do not let our hearts swerve after you have guided us and grant us mercy from your own presence, for you are the bestower of mercy without limit. Amin, 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 alhamdulillah, rabbin animin. All praises flow from every point and place of praise to the source and goal of all beings. Amin, afatiya. Allahumma sayyana Sayyidina Muhammad, walani Sayyidina Muhammad, wa sabbi wa sallam. Bismillahi rahman irahim. Alhamdulillah, rabbin animin. Rahman Irahim, Maniki Omidin, Iyak and Abudu, Wayak and Estain, Ikdina Sarata Mustakim, Sarata Nadina Anamta Alehim, Kaira Magdubi Alehim, Waladonin, Amin, 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 who Yarab, 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 Allah, please, we thank you. Alhamdulillah. May may our, our lives be in praise of you and thanking you. May may this be the may the, the fill the cup of our lives is praise praising you and thanking you, Allah, and joining together in um of, of people of heart and communities of love and and and, and spreading your the word of your goodness, O Allah, feathering the word of your forgiveness and your mercy, your compassion for humanity, and uh, may may the cup of our life be filled with this, O Allah, and may the cup of our life be filled with turning always to you, asking forgiveness uh, for all of our shortcomings, O Allah, which you have created us with uh, so that we can turn to you, that we can uh, humble ourselves before you and not imagine ourselves as gods on earth uh, but rather just the open space of your love the empty uh, vessels of your love the transparent cups of your love oh Allah amin 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 bless all those who are suffering uh, strengthen their hearts strengthen their faith uh, guide them and guide us to the best of ways and of, of living on earth. And uh, may our hearts be joined uh, with the people of faith uh, all over the globe. And, um, and may our hearts be guided by the light of the Nur Muhammad, the light of Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the love of Muhammad, the ishq of Muhammad, and the compassion of Muhammad. Uh, which is your light and your love, your compassion, O oh Allah. And Amin, Amin, Amin. May we truly feel this is one humanity. Amin, Amin, Amin. To the secret heart of our peers, we thank Effendi, Noor, Azrati, Peer, Amina, the mother of Fatih, Allah, Sayyidina Sayyidina Muhammad, Walari Sayyidina Muhammad, Wasabi, Wasallam. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Rabbin, Alimin, Rahman, Rahim, Manikiyon, Midin, Yakin, Abu Duwa, Yakin, Astrain, Eden, Sarat, Mustakim, Sarat, and Edina, and Amta, and Ahim, Rayo Magdubi, and Ahim, Amin, 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 all is yours, Allah, and all is you. This Past life is your life. I mean, may we honor it and join it consciously. I mean, who? Who? Uh, Sheikh Amina, would you lead us in the La ilaha illallah 33 times? Yes, dear. Okay, and uh, if Juliet Rabia is there, if you could do the Allah. And Habir, if you would do the who and close us. Go ahead, Sheikh Amina. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> 